Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode with Bluff Lunge. Today is a weird video. As you can see, I am recording from my home, and I'm going to be talking about a very special trip that I did with a very special lady. We're going to be talking about food, of course, because food is really important to us in the Bluff Lunch channel. But more importantly, we're going to be talking about the Camino of Santiago, which a lot of you have heard of, I hope. And if you haven't, the Camino of Santiago is a trail walk, a very long, long, long trail that you can start from all the way from France and it goes all the way to Santiago de Compostela in Galicia that is northwest of Spain. Now this trail is normally about 40 day hike. We did a 12 day thing. It was quite amazing and what I hope to do is also debunk some of the stuff that a lot of people talk about this thing. A lot of people say that the Camino Santiago is very bad for food. Now here in Buff Lunch, we love food, as you probably know already from all of our videos. And I want to tell you all that actually our trip had all kinds of food. So I'll be sharing a couple of those today. I'll be sharing a couple of the experiences as well, the type of trail we did. So hang on tight and let's get to it. We started our trip from the small town of Astorga. Now Astorga is a very, very special place. It has a palace and cathedral. Um, there's a lot of history, and it's one of those places that when you're if you're doing the Camino Frances, which is the, that specific trail, the Camino Santiago, then that is one of those locations that you've only got a couple of weeks to do. It's a great place to start. Now, what we did was we had a fantastic meal at La Peseta. We had in La Peseta something called el cocido maragato. It's a very typical dish of León. It's actually not just one dish, it's it's like an entire meal. It's really interesting because you start off with a vegetable assortment with some chickpeas, but then it, it's accompanied by meat, and then you end up with a soup, where soup normally we would have it at the beginning. This was a very interesting take on how to eat this type of meal. Now, I really, really liked it. It was very earthy in its flavors, and I just really enjoyed finishing with a more liquid end. And that was really good. We also had a starter that was particularly excellent, and I'm leaving this one on purpose in the middle here before going to the dessert because these prawns that we had, I have never had prawns like this before. They were baked in a sauce that was made out of mushrooms and for some reason it just went so well with a bit of bread and uh, it was it was such an excellent, excellent set of prawns. I don't know how to describe it, really fresh. Finally, we finished off with this really delicious, delicious brownie. And then again, having said all of this, this was night one, all right? We started, we arrived, and we were getting prepared for the challenge that was ahead of us. First day as a pilgrim, huh? You ready? It's been a tough morning for us. We're gonna, we're gonna be okay. Famous last words. <laughs> Now, no one can really prepare you for what you face in this trip. I know that for those who are more seasoned people that have done this type of trails before, this is probably very simple, but we started off 268 kilometers away from Santiago and for very obvious reasons, it was very difficult for me to be recording every single step of the way. But the first couple of days were brutal, okay? After um, arriving at the first day to our destination, which was Fonsevadon, I had no energy whatsoever to record anything. And the following day, we were kind of trying to plow through and soldier on. We were faced with a really, really steep downhill. And this really, really steep downhill ended us in Molina Seca, where consequently, we had some really delicious food at an inn after our knees were absolutely destroyed. The next couple of days become a bit of a blur, but we ended up in this really, really pretty village called Osebrero. We met some really great people along the way, made some nice friends, had some nice drinks. 
but we also had a great meal. Osebrera is really well known for this cheese. That's this really impossibly soft cheese that I show you on screen right now. Um, we had a really great meal here as well with some octopus and stew, and it just all came together really nicely. I had also took the chance to have a massive steak. Now for scale, this is what's called the chuleton. It is served all over Spain. I absolutely love it. It is akin to essentially a ribeye or tomahawk or something like that. Um, I'm not particularly well versed in the exactness of the differences between the cuts in Spanish and the cuts in English, but this particular thing was just so, so good. And I can't tell you how amazing it felt to be able to eat this after such a, such a, like, challenging first three days. There was a lot of really cool food experiences in this trip. We had so much more than Bo already described. We had fresh fish, fresh octopus, fresh burgers, fresh pizza. This stuff all over the trip. There was just incredible variety. I remember particularly one night was pretty fond of mine because we spent time with a new group that we had met and we went to this really great meat place. We served this really delicious, really soft local beef. I'm sorry, cow. <laughs> it was so good. And it was served raw on top of this stone. And they would heat up the stone in the kitchen and they would bring in this really, really hot stone and you would just cook it on the stone. And it just tasted so incredible. Every time the stone would get cold though, they had to bring a new one, which is quite cool. But anyway, point is just a great experience, great memories. And I just can't tell you how important it is to do your research on what you're going to eat before you go. So if you're interested in the Camino, 100% do your research, make sure you don't miss out. And lastly, to conclude this short but sweet video, I want to share with you the last moments, the moments of joy, some of the moments of pain, and some of those moments where we thought of giving up but didn't, and then ended up finally in the plaza. Now, I've rewatched this video a couple of times, and I gotta share with you this moment because it's such a important moment. I'm not gonna edit it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. My voice gets squeaky and emotional. Enjoy. And with that, guys, that concludes another episode of Buff Lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did making this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this. We are more than happy to do more travel videos in the future. We just really wanna know what you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.